So we've seen the inside cabin, which is fabulous and gorgeous. We've seen the fishing platform, which is also incredible. Now we're going up to the enclosed flybridge, yes, which is basically the signature element yes. of this boat. Yes. Here we go. It's the defining feature between the open bridge, the enclosed bridge. Right. Uh, one thing to point out that in this area, whether it be open or enclosed, you would come in the door on the open bridge boat and there would be, it would be a cabinet right there and right. that's where your breaker panel would be. Right. So the footprint of this ladder really doesn't take up any more space than the open bridge boat where this would just be a cabinet and right. you just come in and turn. Or you could access from outside Yes, as well. you can access from outside. So if you're fishing, it's rainy, right. uh, somebody from the crew needs to go speak to the captain, they can go up a ladder, not come through the salon. Right. They can come through if they, if they would like to. Right. Is this the same tinting, or is it a little less tinting? This has not been tinted yet, right. okay. and uh, we, j we didn't have time before we right. left the plant. So right. what we'll do is, uh, the Coast Guard will obviously not allow us to tint the front windows. Mm -hmm. So we'll do the side windows, and some people even do the back windows, mm -hmm. uh, and it'll drop the temperature dramatically. Right. Having that. And then what people do is there's a new product out. It's a clear tint, uh, which f reflects UV light and, and heat, and it would go on the front windows, and it's a because you can't tell it's there, but it reflects the heat back out. And we've noticed that that makes a big difference on enclosed bridge boats. It's super comfortable in here right now. I mean, it's, it's very comfortable. 65 degrees. Yeah, and it's not, and the noise level's about like this when you're running. Mm -hmm. So it's very comfortable. You can carry on conversations like this. Uh, you've got a TV, which is uh, popped down uh, yeah. as well. It retracts out of the way. Uh, and again, this again we go back to hatter safety oriented. This got mm -hmm. a kill switch in it. So mm -hmm. if you leave the TV on and you want to close it, right, it cuts you it just off. close it right. and off you go. Stores out of the way. Right, uh, oh, pulls good. down. You can pipe direct TV into it as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a refrigerator, the ice maker, and mm -hmm. and for drinks. You can put a, a wet bar up here if you choose to. You've got your L-shaped settee here uh, with drawer storage on the end. You've got uh, built-in stainless steel footrest, and there's storage under this unit as well, and in which which is really neat for for this boat. Um, you know, obviously people are going to have a lot of fishing rods mm -hmm. uh, and tackle. Uh, and with this compartment flips oh, up yeah. like this, and again, it's tackle storage under mm -hmm. the stateroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> so, exactly. So uh, that's right. I can see. Uh, the, but the, small the, crew. the neat thing about it is, it's very easy to access. Yeah, and you could put a full complement of rods under here, or a bunch of tubs, a tackle, Tons, whatever yeah. it may be, and then uh, a little triangle-shaped granite countertop mm -hmm. uh, or granite table top right here, and you could turn it into kind of a cruise area mm -hmm. that they have a place to get out of the way, or for kids and a family, they can come up here and play their games, mm -hmm. have a table to do things on. Uh, but again, this is on gas shocks. Now what do you have, uh, what's this, the, the bar there for? Just, just for, for okay. sitting, because right. we've got it higher, I see. I and, it's ra yeah. and the reason it's higher is so you can yeah. see out. Right, I got you. So if you're, yeah. where you're sitting right now, you can see out throughout the whole, whole flybridge. Let's talk about the uh, captain. Mm -hmm. um, we were on a 34 Cabo uh, at the Fort Lauderdale boat show that had this joystick system. Is this the same? This is actually just an electric bow thruster. Okay, uh, that's not what the, the same. system you're you're referring to is a, a right. system called JMS. Right. Uh, there's some other systems getting ready to come out, but what this does is strictly bow thruster. Mm -hmm. Okay. System you're referring to JMS it ties the bow thruster mm -hmm. in with the engines. Yeah, that was uh, amazing setup. It was. Uh, <laughs> We've done that on a couple boats. Right. D is that? Can you do that on a boat this size? Oh yeah, we oh. did that on a '72 yeah. motor yacht that had a bow and stern thruster on wow. it. Wow. And uh, tied it all in, and, and we did it on a '60 motor yacht that just left for Vancouver. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's it's uh, a very nice feature. Uh, this boat, as you can see, it's not rigged out with electronics. Wow. Uh, but what we do when a boat just gets standard electronics package, which are these two components, uh, we put them in such a footprint that if somebody wants to add a 15 to 17 inch monitor, they just cut this spot out and they don't have to heal anything over it. This is inside the footprint of a monitor. Same thing with the center. And you got these areas too. Mm -hmm. so you can have yeah, and most people, are, when they do rig it out with electronics, they'll take these two uh, 
cat displays in this dis uh, control panel that we supply and relocate them mm -hmm. and get them out of the way. But we put them front and center. Mm -hmm. Again, if you cut it out, that's one monitor hole. So, right. so that way it's easy, easy to move and people can put it wherever it's they like. It's all very clean, very low profile. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, your cat gears and throttles. You've got a backup, uh, auxiliary backup panel for if these gears go out, you've mm -hmm. got a backup panel here, throttles, gears, mm -hmm. uh, everything you need right there to operate the boat. Again, it's air conditioned. You've got two riding seats uh, with banks of drawers underneath for storage, for charts, uh, anything you may need up on the, on the bridge. Fabulous visibility. Incredible visibility. Mm -hmm. And then you've got uh, another access hatch. Mm -hmm. If by chance the air conditioner would happen to go out, yeah. you have a way to <laughs> yeah. to, to get some air into the boat, right. and it also allows you access to the to the hardtop, or sure. you, you can also access from the aft dam. Right, and uh, if uh, when you have the 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 tuna tower, the fly mm -hmm. bridge up top, then you're accessing it basically from out, to, out of here. Yes, yeah. well, you've got the so. comfort factor of the enclosed bridge, which is super comfortable, air conditioned, the seating's fantastic, a lot of space, access to the cabin while you're still dry, and and uh, then you've got the option, if you want to get in the wind, you want to get in the sun, and the little waves and salt mm -hmm. air, you can go up to the fly bridge, and, do, and so it's kind of the best of both worlds uh, to sure. me. Sure, and it makes the boat, again, like I said, it gives you another whole salon. Right, exactly. And, uh, and so people really enjoy it, and people with families enjoy it because of the, if, if they are traveling with the boat, they like it that their children don't have to go outside to go up top, they can come from the inside. Right. Uh, but, you know, with the towers and the advent, uh, um, black box technology as far as electronics go you can have a black box on the bridge and just a monitor up in the tower mm -hmm. and give you all the electronics you need in the tower or back here on the aft deck so so you've got all the same features uh, you can see through the windows to see out in front of you uh, it's it just takes a little bit to adapt to, to each different boat but it is a very nice feature and uh, the boats that travel a lot are the ones that really kind of hedge towards the enclosed bridge boats Okay, I'll take it. Sold. So done. Good. Let's go write up the paperwork. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, let's do this. So Jeff, really appreciate it. Uh, this is an incredible innovation, and uh, love the boat. And I'm sure anybody that that has gets this boat is going to have a high level of customer satisfaction. And I uh, really appreciate it. So no, I appreciate y'all taking the time. No problem. And uh, we'll be back with more. And it's Fred Garth, editor of Guy Harvey Magazine. And thanks for watching.